Hey, hello, welcome. Uh, my name's Jack, and I, I'm from Trudy Business Consulting. Uh, Trudy is the ASVAS partner for the Northern Territory, business station being the lead for the ASVAS digital solutions. Uh, welcome to the webinar about simplifying your quoting process with the right tools. Uh, small introduction about me, obviously I do work for Trudy. Uh, my position in Trudy is um, pretty much digital and digital estimating, along with some accounts uh, and administration support. So pretty much, uh, my, my sort of background is in accounting and accounts payable, along with some hospitality work. Um, so today we're gonna look at uh, pretty much how to streamline your quoting and what tools are out there to help you streamline your quoting. Uh, I'm more than happy to uh, take questions at any time. There's a chat function down uh, in your toolbar with uh, where Zoom is. So feel free to ask questions at any time. More than happy to answer. Um, I, you might know me from some production that I do for other um, uh, other webinars. I'm usually the one that sits in the background, but today I'm in the seat doing both production and running this webinar. So please mind if I do look down or look up, uh, just to make sure I'm over everything. So today we'll, we'll discuss what your current quoting system is. So um, whether it's an Excel spreadsheet to a Word document, we'll have a look at um, some uh, what you should be looking for in a quoting system if you do choose to go out and look for some and I'll show you where to go for some other quoting and also just some recommendations on my uh, behalf that I have used and extensively used um, and have loved through each stage of business. So um, before I was in Treaty I was the managing director of Clickstarter Australia which is a small digital agency up in Darwin um, and we have used all three in my in, well, in my experience I have used all three of these quoting systems and I'm more than happy uh, with how they power and as we grow as we grew I should say um, how we upgraded and changed our systems to match the demand of work that we had coming in so I'm just going to chat to make sure I don't miss anything. Okay. So what your current quoting system looks like. Now I've copied this. This is not my um, uh, quote, um, ironically. Um, this is strictly from the quotient site, which uh, we will look into as one of my recommendations. But leave the bad customer service to your competitors. The customer gave me a verbal okay, but it feels flaky. Multiple versions get messy over email. I sent the wrong attachment. Do you get busy and forget to follow up? My inbox is out of control. I feel guilty for not keeping in touch with customers. Tired of copying and pasting the last word document. My team's pricing is inconsistent. Uh, and that, that last line is quoting with quotes here is a breeze and for your customers it will be a welcome breath breath of fresh air now obviously that's a push for quotes here but everything other than that last sentence is 100 percent why you got to look at a quoting system now all well and good to have a word document that you use and it's a standard template across the board looks the same every time when you send it out but how about when a customer has questions? Like there are some um, clients, customers out there that don't know how to use Word. They might not know how to type questions using the comment function. Um, they, they might come back to us with an email and say, oh, look, this wasn't what I was looking for. Can you change this? Or um, they might type you back questions. And me being a busy, a busy business owner or busy doing business consulting, I don't have time, time, nor do I have the brain functionality to remember when they sent 
sent back a question or wants a revision. I don't remember what the revision was. Um, I, I don't remember what the three copies, uh, three copies of the revision was. Like, we are not supposed to remember that sort of stuff. And this is where quoting can get really out of control. You give a revision, you give another revision, but then you send the wrong document. As it says, you sent the wrong document to the wrong client. Um, you're trying really hard, but it just doesn't work. So that's where something, uh, this is where you should start looking at uh, what quoting system can be used for you. We in Treaty, um, sorry, jumping way too far ahead, uh, what you should be looking for in a quoting system. Now, I understand that some of you might be really, really small, some of you might be really, really big. So I've given three recommendations based on size, um, and that will be in the next uh, couple of slides. But for now, if you're going to go looking out for an quote system, what you should be looking for in a quote system is automation. And when I mean automation, I mean, when a quote is accepted, it goes into your account system. Automatically gen generates an invoice for that person with their details, ready to go, ready for you to send. Now, the awesome part about that piece of automation, you don't have to go to the quote, get your invoice up, copy, paste, copy, paste, and risk, and risk, copying something wrong or forgetting that um, you applied a discount somewhere, your GST's out. Just making small mistakes that could be avoided if you automated that process. Accounting sync. Now, um, I assume, and this is a big assumption, that most of you on this webinar today will have an account system of some sort, whether it's Xero, Myob, QuickBooks, Quicken, if you're in America, um, but an accounting sync. So pretty much above, above with the automation, having that account sync to bring in your previous customers out of your accounting system and be able to produce quotes for them on the fly without having to re-enter all their information Again, it eliminates the human error of typing something in wrong. Easy revisions. Now, I love quoting systems because it takes out the whole entire Word document process of sending it to the client, then sending it back with revisions that they want, creating a new copy, or copying the current quote and making edits, so near back, and there's just too much back and forth. With easy revisions, you should be able to have one document that you continuously edit, and that is always accessible by the client. Um, where a Word document, all right, you will have to have an email address or some sort of, um, if we really want to go old school, postal address, send it by snail mail. Um, then Having that easy revision should be the client rings up, the client sends an email, you make that revision to that exact same quote. And every time that a new revision is needed, then we will be able to just, uh, every time we need to revise a quote, it should be easy enough to go click, edit, make the revision, update, done. Word documents do not provide that. Structured pricing for your products. Now, this is probably one of the biggest things uh, with Clickstarter moving to a quoting system. Um, even in Treaty, so um, we, we used to use Word documents in Treaty, but now we have very structured pricing for our products purely because of a quoting system. Now, the quoting, um, pretty much how they can do that is they'll have template lines that you can um, set up prior, 
prior to making a quote. Or you could just do it on the fly and quickly write up a, a line in a quote and send that off. But having that structured pricing for uh, your product, not only it means consistent pricing across the board, but instead of spending hours, and I mean hours, just writing up a quote, you then start to produce quotes in minutes. In the last 30 days, because of our quote system, I have ripped out about 60 quotes over the last month, so about two a day. Um, and the cl client or the inquiry only waits about a day, maybe two, um, three at the very most for me to come back with a quote. Um, and it makes it super easy for me to quote and just spit quotes out. Making the customer journey clear and fun. Now, I, I've just gotten off a webinar with um, Lucy Finch, who is another webinar presenter, about how uh, you can deal with customer service. Um, going off what she has provided in her webinar, you want to make it so much, you want to make it as easy as possible for your clients to look at the price, find out what they, um, find out what they need, and make sure that they're happy with the price and be able to ask questions and make revisions as they need. So being really open, having, making a quote that is really fun to look at, that isn't just some boring text with a logo, a couple titles and uh, a, um, estimate sheet. Um, you really want to make it personal and fun. Or otherwise, there's just no point. So, with that all out of the way, there are just some of the things to have a look at when having uh, thinking about going to a quote system, if you have a quote system, or if you're using a Word document or Excel spreadsheet. These are the things that you want to look at, which is automation, accounting sync, easy revisions, structured pricing for your products, and making the customer journey clear and fun. So, I'm going to move straight into what my first recommendation is. So, I would recommend this for uh, businesses that are small, um, that are just starting out, they don't have many clients, um, zero as an account system provides an, a quoting system within itself. This is probably, a, is pretty, so having a quote system, sorry, having a quote system is pretty standard in an account system. So if you're looking for an account system, see if they have a quote, quoting functionality within itself. Reason why I like Zero so much because it's rel relatively cheap for small businesses. They look, the quotes look really simple. They're really nice to look at. Um, though, there are some pros and cons with the Zero quoting system. So the super simple quoting, just like I said before, if you can have your standardised um, items and products and services. It makes quoting super simple and you're you're able to pull it in and create a quote really quickly. Since it's in zero, it doesn't need a link to your account system. It is your account system. And while while you're creating the quote, uh, you're able to allocate each line to its prospective account. Now I'm going a little bit into accounting here. And I don't mean to, but just to get my point across, pretty much you never have to double up on that invoice. It's like, okay, as soon as it's, it, it is accepted, it magically appears as a quote, uh, as an invoice in your draft invoice for zero. Pretty basic for the client. So that, without being too um, uh, feature driven for the client, it's really simple. It has three buttons, accept, decline, comment, and a PDF. So you can download it as a PDF if the client needs, but accept, decline, comment, really simple. The big green button is accept. It makes it super obvious that they're accepting this. Um, quote customization. 
uh, the cloaks in zero, you can customize to um, to your branding. So you would just upload a logo as you do would in zero anyway, and it uses that logo and any information you put into zero. But on the other side of the quote customization, um, just in that third tab here, the, it can be very difficult to get out of um, how the quote looks. Now, that quote to the uh, right side up there, that is a standard template for a quote. Now, Xero doesn't offer any other templates, that's just how it looks. If you want to go and create a template in Word and then upload it, you're more than welcome to. But in my time that I've been doing it, it can be really hard to do it. There's some really complex functionality of Word that is being used here, and I got really lost with it. You can, however, on Google, just look up Xero uh, templates and go pay for some. There are some brilliant ones out there. I've never done this because I only ever use um, zero quoting um, for about two to three months before I was like, okay, I, I really want to look at something different. Another sort of con is there's no automation of sending the invoice, nor is there any automation for getting payment from the invoice. So pretty much when the quote is accepted, what it does is it creates an invoice in your draft in, uh, invoice in zero. Now, this is awesome if you want to review the quote prior to it going out. Um, but if you want that automated, you, you will still, there is no way to do that yet. Um, and if you're adding lots of detail into these zero quotes, if you, uh, take a look down at this term um, down in here. When you have lots of terms, like I used to have about 10, 10 terms and they're all about three lines each. So there's about 30 lines there. It pushed this entire quote out to about two pages and it just filled this gap here and it just did not look nice. Um, and it kind of put me off zero quoting. Although at the time it was brilliant for what we needed it for, just the design of it all could have been better for us. Um, and sort of back onto the customization of it all, you can mix up invoicing and quotes. So this actually looks like a standard invoice as well, other than the fact that it says expiry and quote. So getting that mixed up can um, be damaging. Obviously, someone's mixed up a quote for an invoice or an invoice for a quote, um, and they've paid a quote instead of an invoice, and it gets really confusing. So having, like, customizing the template out, out makes it a little bit easier for people to go, okay, this is 100% a quote, and this is 100% an invoice. And that's just from a customer service point of view. If uh, zero roughly is about 50 bucks a month for the middle tier, um, if you're sending more than five invoices a month, otherwise I'm pretty sure the quoting functionality is in the $25 at the time of this, uh, this being recorded, um, about $25 for zero. My next recommendation is Quotient. So that is the quoting software I discussed at the start. Um, where it had that uh, piece of text about uh, the back and forth, forgetting to um, talk to your clients, all that sort of stuff. Quoting was what we moved from uh, when we got our zero quote. Quoting is probably the saving grace for the design of a quote. So the quotes look fantastic. Um, they're super simple to create. So again, with that um, um, structured pricing, making sure that all the pricing is the same across the board and for your team, um, and that there's no fluctuation in it. Um, 
it integrates with so much. So like I said before, it needs, if you're looking for a quote system, it needs to integrate with an account system. This integrates with zero and it looks fantastic. Um, when it goes, when a client accepts a quote, although it only uh, sends it in as a draft, so the client doesn't get it until you approve it and send it out. What I like about it um, is, and I might just switch my screen so we can have a look. Here is an example of a question template. So you'll have your, um, what's going to um, so pretty much I'll have your logo on it. Uh, the person, uh, who's it from? So usually if you have a team, you'll say, it might say Jack Cameron from the company name, the company address, phone number, all that sort of stuff. And it's for Scarlett of this place for this phone number. And I think if it's a business, it will even have an ABN spot uh, showing on the quote. And as you scroll down, you have your title of your quote. A quick, and like this, this doesn't have to be set out this way. You can set it out different ways to this. Um, you can just have your individual line straight off, or you can have this text in here as well. Um, so quick text about what you're investing in or what the product that you'll be ser servicing, uh, serving or service that you're providing and then have your line items. Now this line item here and this line item here is 200, uh, 2,500 and that's, that's just a once off fee. Now this, this uh, service right here is a hundred dollars a year and you'll um, you're able to set reoccurring for monthly, weekly, uh, yearly, and bi-yearly. Um, and you'll be able to set it for a certain price. You can also have it set for a certain, a certain amount of quantity. So we could say you get, two in, you get two maintenance and cleaning plans per year. So you'd have two times 100, which is 200 bucks a year. Um, end up and it would say two hundred dollars here you also have the ability to select optional um products so ticking and unticking allows you to take off this product and it doesn't show up here ticking it, it means you want it now down here what it does it will break up the once off amount and any reoccurring so it groups all the recurring that is, so let's say you had three lots of, three different line items that had um, one month, uh, a recurring price once a month. It would break that down into here and add it all up for that. And let's say on top of that, you also have one, a once off yearly fee, sorry, a one, one time yearly fee um, that reoccurred. It would also break that down into, okay, you have your monthly fees and then your yearly fees and then your total cost without any of the reoccurring. Um, so that's a really easy way. Now, what I love, and I absolutely love this, when you put this, when someone accepts this and puts it into zero, zero will generate two invoices. Let's use this one for example. It will generate a two thousand five hundred dollar invoice with this as a five hundred dollar line. Now you can, as an option, have this all sorry this text in as the in with the title, or you don't have to have it in with the title. Same with this one. You can have it with the uh, with the text down below or without the text down below. Um, the pictures obviously won't, won't come across into the quote, but the, uh, you can add pictures into the quote if you'd like. So once it creates that invoice of 2500 it will then create a second invoice for the $100 that 
you just have to make sure you set it up for repeating. So you will save it as a draft, save two as a draft, and they'll be to the same person. Um, and you'll be able to send it out to the client as needed. You can set up the recurring billing in uh, zero, or uh, I'm just going to use zero for example. You can set it up in zero, or you can set um, set up as a recurring zero, or set up as a reminder for yourself to send it out. Now let's go to towards the bottom. On every single quote that goes out quoting it, there will be a question and answer box. Now this is where the client can ask questions. There'll be well, let me know. It's just an example. Uh, you'll, uh, we, as the um, contractor and the client, will be able to see the discussion between uh, us. And when a question is asked on Quotient, I get an email. I can then reply to that email and give a reply directly back to the client through Quotient. And they will receive an email when I reply. You can then also add your reviews uh, on the bottom of your quote. I never use this personally, um, purely because I just don't feel the need for it, but that is there. You can collect quotes out of, um, out of quoting. And then towards the bottom, uh, the client's able to type, um, type notes for things like uh, hi team, thanks for the quote. Let's do this. Um, now, if they need a purchase order number for, for whatever reason, um, they need to create purchase order, they can put purchase order in here. Let's go run and then go yes. That will tick and then accept quote. I would then get an email. Quotient tracks when a uh, client accepts and it'll sit in my accepted until I archive it um, to review later or I can just archive it straight away and when the accept button's hit it will create the two invoices here into zero for me to review and to be able to look at later. Um, so let's just move back into what the pros and cons of Quotient. That was just one, sorry. That was just one of the examples here. Um, I can also show you. That's okay. um, this is one for a wedding uh, event uh, quote template. You can see how there's different colors. Um, there's more, you know, add-ons that you can click on and off. Um, and have the total cost, you can change the quant so me as a client can change the quantity. All right, instead of um, having one person come and clean this party, I might need four. So I'll have four things. And in additional event stuff, I think I might need a third. So I'm going to add one more. Um, and that is brilliant because then you start giving more power to your client to go oh, I like this, oh, I need more of that. It's fantastic. Um, and you'll be able to um, put set recommendations in here. So see how this has one and two. This is a preset um, pre amount by the person who created the quote. This might be a recommendation. All right, you need this many. Um, how um, clients will be able to put that in there and go, okay, I need this many. Um, but you could also put a number in there and go, okay, this is what we recommend. Uh, more pictures, ask a question and review. And now just for a more one, just to quickly go over, um, this is obviously the color scheme is very different. You're able to attach PDF documents in there um, and put your payment terms, ask questions, reviews, and accept. So the, these are some very standard, very standardized um, examples that you can use. Um, and I would recommend having a look at them. Um, 
I think pretty much we've gone through most of the pros and cons. Well, some of the cons are that you're actually really limited on the formatting. So as you've seen from those last three quotes, quotes uh, quoting it only has three different types of, um, only has one type of formatting and it's that um, very blocky. It's like, okay, they all, all the same length, all the same size. Um, also it expands and um, so it contracts as needed, but pretty much you're stuck to what quote say, uh, defines as a formatting. Um, the program does have small bugs. There are small things that happen during um, quoting, but nothing so much that you lose progress. Um, probably my biggest, biggest feature that I love out of quoting is that on the spot, I can go, okay, how much is the job going to cost me? All right, I want to add 30% to the cost and that's going to be my profit. And it will do that all in the um, system without you having to do any math. It will calculate tax, it will calculate um, the 30% and be able to produce a price from that. Now, oh, actually, go back. Quotient is um, $49 a month. I think $49 a month from what I remember and from when this was recording. Um, and that is paid monthly. You aren't locked in. Um, just consider this that you might pay 50 bucks for zero a month and then have quotient on top which is an extra 49 um if you want to go down that way uh if you're a little bit bigger yeah absolutely but if you're a smaller probably stick with zero quotes practice technician so this is what we've recently moved to in the last four weeks um i've gone left to right training. I know this no practice protect really well. And in all honesty, probably the con of this program is the cost. Now for really small businesses, um, practice technician is about 220 bucks a month, um, purely because it does a little bit more than what quoting it can and what zero quotes does. Um, if you set it up incorrectly, uh, if it's not set up correctly yet, if you don't set it up correctly, it can be really, really hard to use. Um, thankfully, um, on the other side of that, they have an awesome setup team. Now, obviously that 220 bucks a month, it pays for that setup. So pretty much they will um, help you uh, help you get settled in the system, set up settings, make sure it's connected to zero, um, give you advice on what you can and can't do. Um, pretty much they will help you through every step of the way. Um, but what Practice Protect that quoting zero also don't do is they take payment. Now that is something that I've never seen before until I came across practice technician. Someone, and this is optional, like depending on the quote, this is optional. You can take credit card, direct debit, and give out your EFT details when they sign the quote. It's like, okay, you, you approve the quote, you pay upfront. Now, there are some businesses out there that require that, and it's like on the spot payment, I think it's $1 for credit card transaction, uh, direct debit, and I think it's 0.5%, don't quote me on that, for credit card transactions. And EFTs are obviously free uh, when you transfer the money. Um, and it's just so awesome. I, I've never seen such a system that is so versatile. Their quotes look amazing. Um, a part of the setup is that you get this made for you, this left-hand side here. This is made by a practice technician for you um, by their team. 
you have as much say as you want in it. Um, I think they only do one for you, but it is fantastic to just have that brochure there. And they don't just use a standard template. Sorry, lost my mouse. Um, uh, it looks fantastic. I really like it. It gives that gives the, oh, the proposal or template um, that feeling of being that feeling of person a personality. It's not just a white page or a blue page. It's like okay, you can read about a company whilst you read your proposal. Um, if we go through here. You can see that um, there is a lot of control for um, quoting from the quoter's uh, perspective. You can go, okay, on acceptance, you will pay $3,000, $3, which includes the GST. Um, so is this line, and it will give you the total acceptance of $9,000. But if we jump to this one, so on acceptance, it will be $2,000, but the recurring total will be $5,500. And the recurring total, like out of everything, because there's obviously, um, there's obviously something else in here. So it will be the 1,000 for the paper pay-per-click Google Ads and Facebook Ads, and then there will also be the reoccurring total for social media in general. Um, there's one in here. Let's just go through it. So this one doesn't show it, but pretty much what you can do is set up payments uh, schedules which are on completion. So you can either have on completion and have 50% deposit, and practice ignition will generate that invoice and send it out for you out of zero uh, eliminating the need to access zero for you for some employees you might just want them in quoting and then the sales team or the project team will handle the rest and that's an awesome way to go about because then you can collect payment on the spot they pay 50 percent or the total amount or they, when the job's complete, then you invoice and you just tick a button and it chucks it, chucks it the client's way. As you can see here, um, this is a sample. Um, this client, um, whoever this client is, um, they, they are already a client with us and they, they've already given us the MasterCard or their bank account details for direct debit. They also have the option to add it. I can't add another payment method because this is a sample. Uh, Strike from Practice Protect. But they would be able to add another payment method if they'd like. Um, they can choose, all right, I want to pay with my MasterCard next. So let me do it. And pretty much this will fill itself out. Now, Practice Protect will help you set this up. And this will form, um, if you know what form field, I'm pretty sure it's called, form field, uh, or mail merge is, it will, it will fill this all out with uh, the contact name, the proposal date, um, another contact name if they need it, anything like that. You go, I accept, you'll be able to go Jack, Cameron, accept. Obviously, since we're paying with a card and it doesn't work it will say fix the issue You'll be able to accept and pretty much that will ping out a receipt once the payment's taken to the client or and or you can send a receipt and an invoice or you can just send an invoice or you don't send anything at all that's really up to you um, and that can be on a per quote basis you don't have to have one setting for all of your quotes, you can change your quotes as needed. So, probably the only small thing I don't like about practice ignition is that it does not integrate with a lot. It integrates with zero, but I think that's about it. 
Hold on, let me check the note. It integrates with, I think it's all account systems. Yeah, so it integrates with Xero, QuickBooks, Practice Manager, Intuit Practice Manager, Workflow Max, Carbon, and Zapier. Now Zapier is brilliant with connecting um, software with software, though I haven't used Zapier enough to really connect our, um, our software up. And we don't really need to right now. In the future, yeah, we probably will. But right now, we're not. Um, and pretty much that, 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 that's all my recommendations I have for quoting systems. Now, I love all three, and I believe that zero would be that small business starting out. Quoting it would be, okay, we're growing, we're needing a little bit more complex or nicer looking quotes. And then practice technicians is when you need to start taking payments, start having really clear workflows on your quotes, invoices, and payment. Um, but if you don't like any of the suggestions I have or like to go looking for some other suggestions, I would suggest either looking in the Zero App Marketplace because not every uh, quoting system needs to go into a, an account system. I know I said quoting systems uh, need to, they really don't. They can do, they can just sell us a separate system and you copy and paste. Although that's not ideal, it is um, a, viable for, uh, a viable solution for now. You can look at the uh, Myob app marketplace, AppSumo. So AppSumo is um, pretty much a software uh, redistributor and it's for smaller businesses that want to get out, smaller software businesses that want to get out there. Um, and most of their deals are lifetime. So you pay for it once and you get it for a lifetime. Now, we were meant to discuss quotas on this um, webinar, but unfortunately, um, I, had a sec I wanted to have a second person in talk about quotas. I personally haven't used it. But on AppSumo, I'm pretty sure right now, quotas is $49 and you have it for a lifetime. And it's apparently is brilliant. It's really good. Otherwise, if you want to go looking elsewhere, you can use Capterra, which will um, help you find all sorts of software, including your quoting software. So feel free to go have a look, read the reviews, obviously, before you purchase do free trials, and you should be good to go. Now we are coming to the end of this webinar. Is there any questions that you would like to ask? Otherwise, um, thank you for attending. Um, I will wait about 30 seconds, see if there are any questions. Just feel free to use the chat or the Q&A and I'm um, more than happy to answer. No? Awesome. Well, thank you for attending. I hope you got a lot out of this and hopefully you'll see me another webinar. You guys have a fantastic day and I'll see you all later.